Hey guys, it's Nathan, and today I'm going to teach you how you can extract all of your connections from LinkedIn. Um, so we're going to start off in Integromat, and we're just going to choose the uh, Growth Hacking plugin. And then if we come over here, you can see Contact Extractor. Um, and you're just going to need to like paste your API token. I've got all my stuff here already. Um, your LinkedIn cookie, I've made another video on how you can extract that. It just takes about 30 seconds. Um, I'll link to that in the description. And then you can leave, you can choose how many profiles you want to extract um, per day. So in this case, we're just running a little test. Let's just run five profiles. You can leave it empty to do all of them. Um, and you can then choose like, how you want to sort them. So I would suggest doing by like recently added. And that means that you can make sort of more advanced workflows like in, in the future. Um, so if we just go ahead and run that once, uh, it's currently logging into our LinkedIn account because um, this is running on the script on our servers. And it's going to be extracting the most recent connection. Cool. So then you can just click here and then if you go in result object, that's always going to be the response and it's just done in order. So we can expand these records and here you can see I've recently connected with Abdul. Um, we've got his job title. It tells us when he was a connection since we've got a, an image here that we can open. That will be his profile picture. Um, so that's result object number one, number two, number three and number four. Um, so that is quite simply how you extract your connections. Um, but assuming you have some purpose for extracting them. So we're going to go on and just add to this workflow a little bit. So you want to use a tool called an iterator. And what this will do is it will um, split the records that are returned to you so we can start like manipulating them. Um, so we can do save anyway. And then let's say we want to add them into like, a, a, well, we'll use Airtable, but you could sync this over to like your CRM. Um, you could send like a welcome message to them. So we'll build like a few different workflows. Um, so to start off with, we'll just do create a record. And if we come into, uh, we come into video ideas, table one. We can put his title and we can put his like we can put his first name as well in fact we'll put his linkedin url so we can just save that and just run it and if i come over into the air table this is actually linked to We should see the rows start to get added down the bottom here. You can see it's now adding this data into into Airtable. So we can change that to go and run like on 20 records. Um, and we could also make this like we could change Airtable out for a Google Sheet. We could change this out for our CRM um, or any other tool that, that you wanted to use. Um, alternatively, we can also add in for example, we could add like a welcome message. So we could do, um, let me just add in my data again. And then here, what we would do is add in the LinkedIn profile URL and we can just say, hi, first name, thanks for accepting. Great to connect. So this is just like a really basic welcome message. So for the most recent 20 people who have um, accepted our connection request, we're gonna go and send them a welcome message. Um, so I'll actually log into my like LinkedIn profile and you'll be able to see these going out. So it looks like the first message has gone through. So we can obviously check it in the actual code and we can see that the message has been sent. Um, but on top of that, if we actually go and refresh our LinkedIn messaging thread, 
we should see that Abdul just got a connection request that was sent via the code. Hi Abdul, thanks for accepting my connection request. Great to connect on on LinkedIn. So like that was super easy to set up and that was just a quick demonstration to show you it works. But now on top of this, we can go a little bit more advanced and let's say you wanted to run this as an actual workflow. Um, what you could do is do connection. So that what that is going to do is um, <clears throat> it's checking when they accepted our connection request. So here we have 16th of May um, at 0956, which is today. And then if we go and add in equal to now, uh, or we can do is before. Cool. So that has actually worked correctly. So that um, functionality has worked. So if it's later than yesterday, if it happened in the past 24 hours, then they're going to get a connection request. Um, so that logic will work like absolutely flaw flawlessly as long as um, we run this once per day. So you can just choose OK, set the schedule and you're done.